I'm whispering, everybody's napping. My new thing that I like to do for my videos is to film, like pick up in the like middle of the day and then film the afternoon because in the mornings, that's when I'm in the office for the majority of the day. So it's not very entertaining for you guys. So this is like my new thing and I'm, I'm liking it a lot. I did get my haircut today. So I feel like once the day I get my haircut, it always feels very clean and and like, I don't know what it is, but I'm, I kind of want to put some like texturizing spray in it. I told her I just wanted, I told you guys in my last video, I just wanted it to kind of be lifted more, which is exactly what she did. Long layers, a little more layering in the front. And I, all the photos I showed her were of Jennifer Aniston and like middle seasons uh, friends. And I really like it. I just am trying to grow it out. And it was just in that middle random length. Um, I'm gonna make some iced coffee while I chat with you guys. So to keep you up to speed, Owen got sick and I, I don't know why I didn't think he was going to, but yeah, he got what the girls had and he's, he doesn't have a fever anymore. He's pretty much back to normal, but he is still pretty whiny and needy and just wants to be held. So um, he is hopefully gonna be all better tomorrow if it's the same as the girls, which I'm assuming it is. June has been like coughing a tiny bit, but she's pretty much back to normal and Violet's been, the, she, Violet got it the worst. I mean, not the worst, she got it the least from everybody. I feel like June was the worst, but Owen is pretty hot. Like he was hot all day yesterday. I don't think Violet's asleep right now, I hear her. There is something about iced coffee, middle of the day. That tastes so good. Um, also wanna update you on my Apple Watch. So. I got this, a couple of you have asked what kind I got. I think it's the Model 5 and it's actually a refurbished one. So you can get those online. The one that Andrew originally got me was the gold, but it looks kind of rose gold. And I like this one because it looks a little bit more, it's more of like a bronzy gold. So I was able to find a refurbished one in this color online. And the this color, it's like the gold, but it's stainless steel. So that's the one I have, and then I just got a few new bands. So I have this one, which is really cool. It has this magnetic closure. I love that. I also ordered a black tortoise one, and then I have this one, which I'd like to. Now this is the gold of the typical gold. It's more of like a rose gold. Um, but I was going to return it, but it's hard to find any bands with this kind of gold. <laughs> like I'm saying gold a hundred times, but um, this is really pretty. I love this type of band. It reminds me of like my old watches that I used to wear back in the day. Today, I wanna show you guys, I caught more shoes for Owen. Um, I'm having the hardest time with finding shoes for him. His feet are super thick. And so I get bigger shoes, but then they're really long. So I found a couple from Stride Right for him. They were on sale. I feel like their shoes are expensive. I hate spending a ton of money on shoes for kids because they grow out of them so fast. But I've been having a hard time finding shoes for Andrew's brother's wedding because I want to find brown leather shoes and I'm having a hard time. <laughs> so their wedding's next weekend and I ordered a pair on Poshmark and I hope they come here in time. And they're just like gently used from Target. So fingers crossed that we get those and fingers crossed that they fit. Also today's video is sponsored from Native, which I love Native so much. I've been using their deodorants for Oh my gosh, I don't even know how many years, so many years. Ever since I started using Native deodorants, I haven't tried any others since. So I feel like that says a lot about the product. Uh, I went through a long phase of trying out every type of deodorant, aluminum-free deodorants, trying to find one that worked for me, and I just never really loved any that much. I tried like the paste ones that you rub in, and once I used Native, I never looked back. And now Andrew uses them too. I converted him too, which is great. So thank you to Native for sponsoring today's video. I'm gonna have a code down below for you guys that'll get you, it's a really good deal. Like typically uh, if you get three deodorants, it is $36, but with my code, you'll get three deodorants for just $24. So it's 33% off. And the code will get you 20% off their body washes and toothpaste too. So that'll all be listed down below. I'll share a little bit more about them in a sec. All Owen ate today, a few bites of popcorn and some bagel, so. Okay, here are the shoes that I got. So I ended up, if you guys saw my last vlog, I showed the brown shoes I got. They were from Stride Right. They were in a size eight, too small. So I got a size nine, 
but they're a different style and now these look way too big. So like again, the width would be great, but these look too too long. I'm gonna try them on him, but I'm pretty sure his feet like will go to about here. These look like really comfy shoes though and he'll get a ton of use out of these like maybe later on, just not right now. Also for their shoes, so you can pull out the um, this part and it makes them, you know, a little more spacious. So I got those ones and then I also got these just as like comfy shoes to wear outside for play. These just came in the mail too. I don't know if you guys use these. I use these too. They're called eyebrow razors, but I actually use them to shave my face. I've used them for so long and I just take them. I'm gonna show you right now. Um, sometimes I have Andrew do it to me. It sounds so weird, but it's like a very relaxing moment when I just lay there and Andrew takes it and shaves my face. This is what you do when you've been married Ooh, for 10 years, not 10 years, nine years. Um, okay, so I take it and I angle it slightly down and you just go down and I get so much peach fuzz like right in this area of my face. So it just smooths it out. I do it right here. I notice like little blonde hairs after a while and so I've been needing to get more of these. And you go do, 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 right here. It just makes it nice and smooth. Okay, now that we are down here amongst the products, let me show you guys the native deodorants that I have. So these are the ones that Andrew's using right now. He has a coconut and vanilla and eucalyptus and mint. They are all paraben free, aluminum free, and sulfate free. I like that one for guys, eucalyptus and mint. This is the one I'm using right now. It's um, called, oh, it's a palm leaf and bergamot. I think it might be a like, limited edition one. It just smells fresh and nice. I also got some seasonal scents. I saw they launched some for summer and I wanted to get these before they're gone. So. The Sweet Peach and Nectar, oh my gosh. I love the scent of peach. Peach and orange are my favorite scents ever. And then this one, actually I think I like this one more. This is the Surf and Sea Moss. Just super, ooh, so nice, like breezy, like you're outside of the beach. Midnight, Jasmine and Sage. I like Jasmine too. Which smells more like florally. So when I first wanted to clean out a lot of my products, back when I first started YouTube, one thing that I wanted to start with was deodorant. It seemed like an easy switch. I mean, it was a process finding something that I really liked, but that was an area of, you know, my products that I wanted to switch over. So body products like body lotion, body wash. Also here is their body wash. I have the Midnight Jasmine and Sage body wash in that too. And then here's what the toothpaste looks like. So it's detoxifying because it has charcoal in here and mint. Really nice. Okay, so I wanted to switch out my deodorant and when I found Native, I liked it for a few reasons. One, like mainly because it was aluminum free, paraben sulfate free. I also liked it because when I applied it, it felt smooth like to my skin. A lot of the other ones I tried were really chalky and just gritty and felt uncomfortable. The native deodorants just light on really smooth. They dry fast and I stay fresh all day long. Like even if I'm running up the stairs a million times a day and just running around with the kids all day long, which is what I'm doing every day, I feel fresh the entire day. So it's just very nice. Also they're vegan and cruelty free. So if you guys are in the market for a new deodorant and just looking to switch over to a aluminum free one, I highly recommend Native. Used them for years. Couldn't say enough good things about the brand in general. I will again have that link for you down below. If you use the link with my code, it'll get you three deodorants for just $24. 33% off, that's so awesome. Take advantage of that, get yourself some of these scents for summer, so good. And then you can also pick up some body wash, toothpaste and use that code and it'll apply towards that too. I am going to start by categorizing all of my hair products and separating them from skincare. And I'm gonna try to weed out a few things. I've been 
loving these cleansers from Dr. Zenobia. So I have some products from the Clear Complexion line right here with the blue, and then also this is just like the essential kind, more anti-aging, but I love them. And then I haven't been using the Paracone cleanser much because my skin has been a little bit more clear lately. But I do have more of their products here. I'm gonna just keep them down here. Also loving Alpine Beauty. So, so good. try to put products that I want to use up and then over here I'll keep things that are more like I'll move on to these when I'm out of other other things like this Kerastase oil is almost gone so I don't want to just keep using like little bits of everything I'd rather consolidate These are all things that I'm going to be using. This is all stuff that I'm gonna wait until I need that stuff. And then over here I have all of my like serums and moisturizers and then back there I put the cleansers and toners. So much better. Okay, having a little lunch, just some corn tortillas, sour cream salsa, ground beef and cheese. The girls are up for a nap. What are you making over here? I can't play my little doll. Okay, probiotic time. Raise your hand if you guys are a One Tree Hill fan. So Sophia, Hillary, and they call her Joy, but I know her as Bethany Joy. They are doing a podcast and they launched their first episode Sunday and it was everything I have ever wanted from, I didn't even know I needed this in my life and I'm so excited. Me and Adrian are like geeking out over them. So, I mentioned in an earlier vlog how I was kind of let down by Sophia Bush because she kind of, in past interviews, not bash Winter Hill, but she always, she never really wants to talk about Winter Hill. She always wants to like go past it and she just kind of has referred to it as like, oh, that was like when I was young and dumb. And I'm always just thinking, that was your big break and people are so invested in Winter Hill and love it so much. like. That was 10 years of your life. So that's why I really love the Friends reunion because they really embraced everything that encompassed Friends. And I have to say now that Sophia Bush has redeemed herself in my eyes. And the way all of them talk about Wonder Hill is so fascinating. It's just basically all behind the scenes info that we all want to know. They talk about where they lived, during shooting, how they got the job, and they're going to watch every single episode and just talk about it and have guest stars who were on the show, James Lafferty, they were talking about having, Karen, um, and they were saying it's funny because when she was on Moira, when she was starting the show, she was the same age as they are now. So it was just so good, I loved it so much and I cannot wait to listen to it every single week. So if you guys haven't listened to it, you have to listen to it and let me know what you think. I just couldn't have loved it more, it was so good. And I was driving Andrew to work today, he still doesn't have his car and I had like 20 minutes left of it. So I put it on when I was driving him and even he was like, this is actually really good. And he goes, this is your dream come true. And like, it is, I love behind the scenes stuff. It is just, my favorite thing ever. I wanna know what it looks like behind the camera. I wanna know what's going on during filming and all of that, so it was so good. My two poor little sickies. How are we feeling? I'm not sick. You feel fine? No, but I feel sick. You still feel sick? Okay. I had plans this week of deep clean all the carpet and our couches, but the second Owen wakes up, he's gonna want me to hold him the entire rest of the day, so. That is being put on hold. Let's see. Let's see. Oh my goodness. It looks awfully big. Her own feet. Mm. 
Where's your toe? I mean... Oh, here. It's not bad. <laughs> Let's try the brown one on and I'll put the blue on. Let me just see. Let me just see if that's it. Okay. Where's your toe? We should take this part out for you. The feet are, are, so, are so wide. Are you throwing? Are you throwing? Yeah. yeah. Okay, we're, we're gonna do this. Hold on. I'm gonna take this part out. Hold on. Too big? Big. Crow, Mom. Crow? but there is a fire somebody somewhere close to us because it smells so strong and it just started raining which is a blessing but I'm, I'm wondering where the what direction the fire is coming from the blue sky is up there it's pretty cloudy over there I think it's oh yeah it's definitely over there actually so I wonder if that's Fallbrook and I'm having one of these right now Health Aid Booch Pop, they're so good. They were on sale at the store, so I stocked up. Thank it's getting you. more smoky. I looked online and it's in Fallbrook. Um, Fallbrook. Kind of right off the freeway. So really not that far from us. Um, yeah, the rain stopped though. So we are taking a break on the Goofy Movie and we're gonna go upstairs and take a bath. Ow. What do you guys say? Everybody is coughing and grumpy today. <laughs> Good news, the fire looks like it's out. There's way less smoke now. I'm making the kids some grilled cheese. Okay, we went to pick up Andrew. We got food in the drive-thru, and then I put the girls to sleep and Owen. And I went downstairs to watch some friends. And I was just so tired, oh my gosh. Like, they're all just coughing and whining, and it's just been a long, long afternoon. Um, and then Owen was crying for me. I go in there and he's like, Milky Mom. So I get him and I'm like, let's go to bed. And he goes, Mommy, in your bed. So I'm drinking his milk, or he's drinking his milk, and I'm gonna put him to sleep. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to check out the native products. I'll put a link down below with a code, and I will see you guys very soon. You wanna say bye, Owen? Say, say good night. Come on.